Kinatato Kato, good evening. If the rise in the cost of living has been bothering you, well, hold on to your wallets. A new survey has found almost all New Zealand retailers are looking to pump up their prices by 7.5%. Imogen Wells has the exclusive details. Donald Waring's been in the shoe business for 30 years. He loves it. Love the retail buzz, love Lampton Key, love Wellington CBD. But lately, running a shop's been hard, really hard. On a scale of 1 to 10, 11. <laughs> The last 18 months have been a retail recipe for disaster, but it's not just been COVID. The sector says it's also things like the minimum wage increase, the doubling of sick leave and never-ending global supply chain issues that have left them feeling the pinch. Without doubt, what we would come call a perfect storm, where pretty much everything that can hit a business, challenge-wise, has come at once. We've all got to that point where... The sponge is just about full, it can't soak up anymore. And now NewsHub can reveal 90% of Kiwi retailers are looking to raise their prices by nearly 8% over the next three months in a bid to stay afloat. And 35% aren't even sure their doors will be open in a year's time. The fact that 90% of retailers are saying they're going to be putting their prices up over the next three months um, is, is a worrying number, but it reflects really the cost pressures that the retail sector is under. So, with a cost of living crisis already hitting Kiwis in the back pocket, what do consumers think about the prospect of pushed up prices? It's already so expensive, you know, and it's just like, how much further up can they take it? Fair enough, they've got to make a living. Yeah, it's shocking. On like student allowance and stuff like that, <clears throat> it's so tight already, um, it just makes like getting the beer essentials that we need even harder. More than half of retailers also say they're dissatisfied with the government's COVID response, desperately crying out for a move to Orange. The Prime Minister denies she's lost the sector's confidence. No, from our perspective, absolutely not. Have we been going through a difficult time that's been impacting our retailers? Absolutely, as has the world. I don't think there's a real understanding sometimes in government about the true impacts of uh, everything that's happened on businesses. So, before the price hikes hit... Oh, I think a new pair of shoes always cheers everyone up. ..flex those shopping muscles. I'll cure to Imogen. Will the government take any notice of this? Well, after weeks and weeks of being hampered about a cost of living crisis here in New Zealand, the last news the government wants to hear is that 90% of our retailers are looking to pump up their prices. So this does have the potential to strike a chord. There is a quick fix, though, talking to retailers, and that would be a shift to the orange traffic light setting. They say that'll put confidence back into consumer land and get people back out and about and shopping. The government is making that decision on whether or not we move from red to orange next Thursday. Thursday, April 14. No doubt retailers will be awaiting that announcement with bated breath, hoping for a bumper Easter. Imogen Wells there live from the capital. Thanks, Imogen.